There are several steps to an eviction. The landlord gives the tenant written notice. First, the landlord must give the tenant a written notice telling the tenant what is required. There are different types of notices with strict legal requirements. If the landlord doesn't use the right type of notice, fill it out correctly, and give it to the tenant properly, the landlord may lose the eviction. The landlord files and serves the unlawful detainer. The tenant doesn't do what the notice asks in the time provided. The landlord must file court papers and pay a court fee to evict the tenant. A landlord cannot legally evict a tenant without filing an unlawful detainer case in court and getting a judgment for eviction. After the case is filed, the landlord must let the tenant know about the lawsuit in the proper legal way. This is called service. There are different ways to serve the other side, and the rules are very strict. The tenant files and serves response. Once served, the tenant has five days to respond by filing papers with the court and serving them on the landlord. The most common response that tenants file is called answer. If the tenant doesn't file papers on time, the landlord can win the case by default and there will be no trial. This means that the tenant will not get a chance to present his or her side to a judge. A trial is scheduled. If the tenant files an answer, the landlord or tenant must ask the court to schedule a trial date. Either side can request a jury trial if they want one, but the party who requests a jury is required to pay the jury fees to the court. If a trial is requested, the court will send the landlord and tenant a notice of the trial date. The trial must be held within 20 days from the date it is requested. The parties prepare for court. To prepare for your case, be sure to research and understand the law in your case. Have the rental agreements, notices, rent receipts, photos, or any other pieces of evidence ready. Talk to any witnesses and make sure they will come to your hearing. Go to the courthouse and watch an unlawful detainer trial. The trial is held. The landlord and tenant should attend the trial, even if they have filed papers with the court. If either party does not attend and present evidence, the court may decide the case against them. Presenting evidence at trial is complicated and beyond the scope of this video. Other resources identified in this video can help you present your case at trial. If you are not completely comfortable speaking and understanding English, bring your own interpreter. The court will probably not be able to provide one for you, so it's your responsibility to bring someone who is qualified to interpret for you. This is your only chance, and you want to make sure to understand everything that is said and be able to present your case. The court decides the case. If the tenant wins the case, he or she may stay in the property. Also, the landlord may be required to make repairs, adjust the rent, or pay the tenant's legal costs. If the landlord wins the case, the tenant may be forced to leave the property and pay back rent and the landlord's legal costs. The court may issue an order called a writ that tells the sheriff to physically remove the tenant from the property. In some cases, the tenant can request a stay of execution or a postponement of this order which can delay the eviction. If everything is done properly at every step and both sides participate in the court process, an eviction case takes about 30 days from when the landlord files papers in court. If the tenant does not respond to the lawsuit, he or she may have to move out in as little as 14 days. There can be delays due to procedural mistakes or if the tenant loses and requests more time to move out. An eviction case becomes public record 60 days after the case is filed. This means that someone could do a search of public records, find the eviction case, and see what happened on it. Because future landlords can get this information, an eviction case may make it more difficult for a tenant to rent in the future. If the landlord wins the eviction case, either because the tenant does not answer or because the tenant answers and loses, the judgment for eviction may appear on the tenant's credit report. This could make it hard for the tenant to rent again. If the tenant wins after a trial, or if both sides reach a solution by written agreement, the eviction case usually will not show on the tenant's credit report.